Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Xana520 and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. In the next step, in this episode, or I should say, in the last episode, we came back to the sea and the King of Red Lions marked two spots on our map where we need to find out what happened to the sage that resides there. But, before we did that, or before we do that, I decided that we're going to go finish mapping the Great Sea. And we're going to be f starting off with this island right here. Then we're going to head north of Outset and head off to the east side of the map. Because those are the only islands we haven't yet mapped out. As for this island, this is Horseshoe. On the island due east of here lives an old man who was once a master of swordsman. He's got proof of it, too. He has a knight's crest. Want to know what that thing is, Fry? Well, too bad. I can't go giving away every secret. Hmm. How many knight's crests do we actually have? Eleven. I think we're gonna have a stop on our home island. So long as we don't get bullied by some sea hats. Here, you stupid fish thing. We also still have to do the thing with the orca. But uh, we'll do that at a later time when we have to return to our home island for something. For the time being... Did I get the... Hold on. Yes, I did. Okay. For the time being, though, we're going to... Stop off here. And go have a word with Orca. Orca, I have something to show you, sir. Hello. I have something for you. Take a look at this. Wh why, that is a knight's crest. How many of those do you have? Hmm. Then I suppose the time has come for me to speak to you about the crests. The Knight's Crest. It is a symbol of a courageous knight. And not just anyone can gather them. No, it takes a soul who possesses not only power, but wisdom and courage as well. Any courageous soul who can gather ten of these crests to l can learn a powerful new sword technique. Both my brother and I dreamt of learning this technique in our youth. We worked so hard to collect the crests. But it took many long years and adventures beyond count before we even approached finding ten of them. And we both grew old. It appears you have enough might to learn that technique now. Perhaps, just perhaps, you can master it. Very good, Link. Heed my words. Hold B to build up power, then release it. Come at me now. Do it! You learned the Hurricane Spin. Hold B to build up your power, and then release it to perform a whirling attack with your blade. Remember, it consumes magic power. Amazing, Link. You did it. You have mastered the Hurricane Spin. At last, you have made our long-held dream come true. Oh, the joyful tears. They won't stop. I thought my tears had dried up long ago. There's nothing left for me to teach you. I'm certain now that you will save your sister Errol and bring her home to Outset. We'll be back to spar with Orca at a later date. I just wanted to stop off and do that.
I wonder what would happen if you showed his brother these the 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 crests surgeon. I've never actually tried that. Hmm. Well, anyway, we're off to the east side of the island. So, who wants to talk about random things? Um, well, as you may know, I do all my recording on Saturdays. So, as it stands, um, when is this video going up? Wednesday? So, half the week's already gone, so I hope everybody's having a good week so far. I can only hope things are going well for you. Come on, get in position. Nope. Down there. They also sped up this salvage animation. You used to have to, like, really go down deep for these. Nice, number 50. I can't imagine what kind of shenanigans I've had to go, go through at work. Uh, I do enjoy my job, but- Whoa! No, no, no! No, no! Not yet. I'm not doing that yet. That's later. God, that was there. Come over here, grab this light ring. These are procedurally generated, by the way. These light rings. They appear at random. Another 50? Another 50. And we're off! Go fast. This is Angular Isles, isn't it? I didn't get the... There's a map square north of Outset that I didn't get. Whoops! Oh well, I'll get it another time. I can see the boating course from here. At some point, I'm gonna need to amass enough... Uh, Joy pendants. Excuse me. What the heck? I'm gonna have to amass enough joy pendants to give uh, Miss Marie her uh, stuff. This is the boating course. There you are, fish man. Am I close enough? I am close enough. Cool. So give me my info, please. It'll be super easy to get to that in a bit. Boating course! This is just for money. Or fun. Let me ask you something, Fry. Have you been using ZR to make your boat jump? Well, have you? Of course, going out to sea just to jump around would be real dumb if you ask me. Anyway, what you can do is tilt the left stick to move your tiller just as you land. That's how you make a sharp turn. If you didn't know that, why don't you try it out? Yep. And that's actually how you do the boat course with a good time. Is by doing that. Anyway. We're gonna try not to get harassed by sea hats as we move further and further out to... in the shadows here. I don't think I have enough uh, bait now that I look at it. Also, I've forgotten to switch to my map again. Uh, where's the island out here? There it is. I see it. I don't know where the moon is, but it's turning day anyway, so... I believe this is... Seven Star Island? Seven Star Isles? It corresponds with a constellation in the sky. Actually, this moved like five eye or five, 
five star isle. Where are you, fishman? There you are. Whoop. Well, that was fast. Yep. All right, what do we got? Five star isles. That was correct. There's another one later on that's like seven star. Have you seen it, Fry? S small Fry? The ghost ship? Because it's real. It's even been seen here in these very waters. On nights when the crescent moon faces down, that's when horror rises. Hmm, the ghost ship. Well, at least we know what it is now. Now we go north. You need to make sure you don't go too far uh, off the edge of the map. Because then the King of Red Lions will yell at you. Because you're going into uncharted waters. Uh, what's the island here? Is it... It's that one, isn't it? Is it the flight platform? It might be the flight platform. The flight platform is nor more north. Yeah, this is not the flight platform. What is this? I don't know what this is. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Well, that's not true. I have seen it before. I just don't remember what it is. Something we can't fiddle with right now. We don't really have true control of the seas yet because we're missing a couple items. Four to be exact. Cliff Plateau Isles. It's got a red name. Hey, Small Fry, do you know about the Nintendo Gallery? The only way in there is to hit a switch that's uh, way up high in the forest, Haven. But the only way to do that would be to bribe one of the gulls by putting a little bait on your head. Uh-huh. Yeah, we already did that. And he's off. So are we. Off to these islands. Something kind of important over here on this area. But we'll also be getting this later once we um, finish up other stuff. I might have to go buy more bait. There's another fairy island up ahead too. And I think that's going to get us our 99 arrows. Yep. Bird's Peak Rock. Hmm. Tell me, Small Fry, have you ever heard of the Golden Triumph Forks? They're there on that island. Or at least a chart leading to them there is there. Where is it hidden, you ask? Well, for the answer to that, you'll have to ask a gull. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this island's gonna be important later for Triforce-related shenanigans. I am definitely gonna need to buy more bait. Bait, buy more bait. Hey, uh, Tingle. Or not Tingle, Beetle. Whoops, hold on. Beetle's chart. Excuse me. Beetle's chart. Um, I can swing around uh, Dragon Roost to get more bait. I got enough bait to take us up three squares. Alrighty. Fairy Island. Eastern Fairy Island. Where is... Where's the fish? I don't know where the fish is. We'll find the fish in a bit. Anyway, I need to show you guys this weird thing to do with these hammer pegs. Alright, so... You know how to... What? Oh! Hello. I forgot you were here. Get out of here. Be gone. Oh, Ten rupees. Anyway, you know how to normally do these. This is like that, right? Well, you may have noticed when I was fighting those mini blends, I did one of these. 
I did not know you could cut grass with that. Oh, these pop back up if you don't hit them far down far and fast enough. Anyway, if you um, if you do that, <laughs> it does that. Anyway, let's pound all these pegs in. Make these roots go away. There we go. Come through here. Yellow, which means probably more arrows. This is the last fairy fountain island. Yep, 99 arrows. Neat. All right, let's vamos. Why is my boat near this stupid cannon ship? Seems to be having an issue. Fishman, I know you're here somewhere. Where are you? Fishman. Fishman, where are you? There you are. What are you doing over there? Thorned Fairy Island. Not Eastern Fairy Island, Thorn Fairy Island. Tell me, small fry, do you have any of them golden feathers? I hear those things are all the rage with Rito ladies on Dragon Roost Island these days. They just go gaga over them. But the thing is, the only way to get a golden feather is to defeat one of those bird monsters. Or so they say. Yup, Rito men who love, who have girlfriends sure have tough lots in life, I tell you. Ha uh ha. -huh. And he's off. All right, let's head north to this island over here. This is probably the Seven Star Islands. Actually, hang on, let me look around. Nope, it's probably that. I see fish man. There's the flight platform. It's starting to rain again. I hate the rain. There we go. So, I believe... Yep. I believe we have enough feathers to do the feather quest thing. Star Belt Archipelago. That's what this is called. I wouldn't sail through these seas on nights when the left half of the moon is missing. You'll regret it if you do, Fry. I'm warning you. It's not my fault if you get so scared that you can't go to the bathroom at night anymore. Uh-huh. Right. I don't know what that's about. Probably the ghost ship. Alright, so I have... So long as I don't waste bait... I should have enough bait that if I buy one more batch at Dragon Roost, then I am good on bait. Okay, the flight control platform itself is over here. There's a submarine. Huh. Alrighty. I almost missed it because I didn't see him. The camera went weird. Alright, what do we got? Whoop, whoop. 
flight control platform. To the west of here, over on Dragon Roost Island, you'll see all kinds of rocks. Big ones, little ones, you get the picture. Anyway, they say that long ago, there used to be treasure hidden inside those things. Who knows? There may still be some left. You should open your eyes and take a good look around. From as high up as the sun to as low as your toes. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's talking about the... The, uh... The rock that was high on the wall. Yeah, that rock that we had to use uh, a bird to activate the bombs. Anyway. We're gonna just sail over here. It's gonna turn night on us. How many feathers do I actually have in my spoils bag? 33. Okay, we've got plenty now for the uh, the one Rito dude. Just gotta sail around the front. There goes Beetle. We'll deal with him when we come out the front. Or we can come back out. We're gonna run up here. Gonna run up here. And we're going to completely misunderstand what we were supposed to do. Climb that block. Climb this block. And we're gonna come up here. Gonna do a little special delivery for the one guard. Hey, buddy. You're the one who wanted the feathers, right? So, are you really gonna let me have 20 of those? Sure. Really? Are you sure? Yes! I'm gonna st stick these little beauties in a letter and send them off right away. I'm going to tell her all about you, too. I'm so happy. Seriously. It's not much, but please accept this. It's an orange rupee. Just one of these is worth 100 rupees. Your face is beaming. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing. They kind of screwed up the rupee colors in this game. The, uh, the 100 became the orange, and the 200 is the silver, whereas in pretty much every other one, the 100 is the silver, and the 200 is the gold. Flash orange. You hear a harp being played. Beetle! 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 No! Stop! Beetle! Stop the boat! Thank you. I need to come in here. And I need to buy one more lot of bait. Thank you. Can, do I... Can I carry these? Yes, I can. Alright. Cool. Bye! Bye, Beetle. You look so sad. Alright, so we're back over here. Okay, we got full bombs and arrows. So now I can re-equip my bait. And now we can head off towards the northeast. There we go. And then we're gonna do a little jigger and pokery. I think this is seven. Maybe that's seven star. What is this then? A lot of these islands are shaped like, uh. constellations.
I see you, fish man. Oh, this is like... I know what island this is, but I don't remember what it's called. I think I have to come here later. For something. Alright, so what do you got for me, fish man? Overlook Island. Okay. Hey, Small Fry, do you know about the Golden Triumph Works? It's there, I tell you, on that island. The genuine Ein article. But the cliff there rises sharply, and even if you wanted to climb it, there aren't any ledges or footings for you to grab onto. So what are you going to do, Small Fry? Mm hmm. Well, we'll figure something out. In the meantime, we have to come over here to this island, which I believe this is Seven Star Isles. I know one of these islands is called Seven Star. Don't lie to me. Alright, where are you? There you are. There you go. Seven Star Isles. Yep, I knew it. If you see seagulls flying all around some seawaters, that's a sign that you need to be wary, Fry. Because the seagulls flock to winter wherever big octos appear. Big octos, I tell you. Those things don't mess around. Mm-hmm. I believe there is actually a big octo in the square. If I could look around, maybe I can see it. Just some cargo rocks right now. Yeah, I don't see anything. Anyway, so the last square on our map that we have to fill in is all the way down here, north of Outset. But rather than sail all the way back, wrong. We're going to use the Ballad of Gales to warp down to Outset Island. And this is how we'll probably be traveling around the map for most of our future endeavors. So we've got another reef here, I believe. Another reef. Yep. We're almost done here. Next episode, we can do some actual good stuff instead of just sailing around, getting map pieces and talking to Fishman. Though sadly, this is the last time I'll be doing the Fishman voice. So... Cherish it while it is here. Alright, this is our last fish man. Oi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island? Then start by opening up your sea chart. Five Eye Reef. Long ago, there was this huge fairy who lived to the south of here, in the forest on Outset Island. But now, all that's left is the ruins of the fairy fountain where she lived. It's sort of sad. But to tell you the truth, I hear there still is a fairy there. Yup, she's still alive and kicking down there, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw me some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. And that is, in fact, the last fish man that we're going to be talking to in this playthrough. 
Unless I get bored. Anyway, so next time on The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, we're going to continue our plot. We may be headed back to Windfall Island in a bit. But until then, this is Xana520, signing out.